What's going on today, everybody? We're back in the fish room, and on today's video, we will be uh, kind of just going over everything, update you guys on what's going on in the fish room. Uh, I also still have this giant crip that I'm going to plant throughout this tank. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of just going to show you through all my tanks and show you what's going on because we've got some stuff going on that I think is pretty lit. Anyway, I just topped off all the tanks. Uh, I don't know if you get. Oh. Just topped off all the tanks. I don't know if you guys can see the giant water mess that I made. Because the hose fell out of the tank. So yeah, everybody's topped off. Uh, I'm probably going to polish up the glass for you guys so you can actually see. And we'll get right into plant. We'll get right into planting this crip, and then I'll show you what we got going on. All right. So I got most of the tanks cleaned up here with my brand new scrubber. I did not clean this one because I didn't want to make it like super dirty while I'm trying to plant this giant crip. But we're gonna get rid of most of this dead stuff because we did get a couple new plants in the back. I don't know what they're called, but we got them. And uh, these, this crip, this gigantic crip, pull her out here if I can. This thing's huge. All right. This gigantic crip needs broke up into about as many crips as I can get. So. We're gonna get this guy broke up. You can tell by the shape of him. You can tell that it was in a pot. He had gravel in it and put it in a pot. And I mean, this thing just exploded in that pot. So we're just gonna try and get all this gravel. You can hear it all falling. Try and get this gravel all wiggled out of here. Shook out most of the gravel. I don't know if you guys could hear it go ping, 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 ping. But yeah, for the most part, we got most of it. And now you're left with this. Now you can just start splitting all these runners off. Like here, you can really see this guy is trying to be by himself. This guy's trying to be by himself. So I'm just going to try and wiggle him out of there. Look at that. Look at that, roots intact. Kind of get off anything that fell. Here's a little itty bitty baby crip that I just pulled out. We're just gonna keep doing that. We're gonna get them all planted in here. Hopefully it helps our tank look gorgeous. So yeah, like I said, we split this one up. We'll kind of clean off anything that's dead, which none of this is dead. Everything is, looks really good. Now, as you can tell, this is a nice tall plant. So, we're gonna plant it in the back with our swords that still haven't quite established yet. But, they will very soon. And as you can see, we also took the goldfish out. So, when the, uh, it's a lot of roots. When the, uh, actually we're going to break off some of these roots so it's a little shorter. That'll actually promote more root growth. But we took the uh, uh, goldfish out because I want to grow the axolotl army so we can't have the uh, goldfish can't have the goldfish eating our eggs again. So yeah, this is just going to be a tank, a tank full of mostly crips. Because we have some other crips that are finally starting to stabilize. It's taken them a while to finally get used to my water. They must have been in some softer water or something. Or they were grown immersed. 
There's a giant snail on there. Bloop. Ooh, that light's hot. Let's try burning me. And now when I'm planting these, I am planting these with my hands because I think it's way easier to plant them with your hands than to plant them with tweezers. Because with tweezers, I mean, it is just half the time when I use tweezers, I go to push the plant down in the substrate and it, it literally just pulls right out when I try and pull the tweezers out. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but it does not like it when I use tweezers. So I don't use tweezers. Plain and simple. And we're gonna have so many crypts in here. Might throw a couple in the front here. And you can tell the uh, axolotls cruise along the outside of the tank because all the sand here is pushed up and piled up. So there's literally like a little dune or a little dam that they wanted to put in the front of this tank. Which, hey, they can do whatever they want. This is their kingdom, baby. They can do whatever they want. We've planted like seven or eight crypts. Look at it. We still have the mountainous mama. Like we've only taken the babies off of this guy. Or gal, if you would. I don't even know what you would. Guy or gal, I don't know. There's another little guy. Real little. Realistically, we might just have the mama really left. Which the mama, we might put in the stock tank to let her just grow. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to scare you. All right, we just have the mother plant here. And I'm going to keep all these roots intact because we have plenty of substrate to put her in. We're going to throw her in the stock tank. Probably middle back here. Push down, slide, try and get those roots down in there. Just bury her roots. Ugh. Yeah, just bury them roots up best we can here. Just like that. Hopefully she'll transplant really well. These roots off me. So yeah, hopefully she will transplant really well. We have the, we probably have 10 little babies planted in the axolotl tank. We have this girl planted right there, absolutely gigantic in there. And then over here, we got one, literally one in the back, one down here in the front, another one in the front right there. Another one in the front right there. Another one in the back right there. One in the middle there. Way in the back there. I mean, they're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. A couple babies that you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see. Like that's a teeny tiny baby right there. Another baby. I think we planted another one, yep, way back in there. So yeah, the axolotls are gonna be loving this tank once it explodes. But yeah, that's the crypt planted. And I'm just gonna go through every tank and show you how everybody's doing. Everybody's doing nice and healthy. I haven't fed anybody. I'll feed them later tonight. But yeah, let's get in to see how the fishies are doing. All right, so let's start with the monster tank down here. Now there's no light on it because I'm trying to get a good light. Uh, the glare on this is god awful, I'm sorry. So yeah, we got our two Oscars in here, which I think I'm going to try and move over in the monster tank again. Goldfish are down here as well. Nobody's picked on them, which is very interesting. I thought they were going to get picked on. Our female clown, or clown knife, our female flower horn. There is a pike cichlid somewhere hiding, who I thought was going to be the nipper, but he's not. 
So yeah, this tank's thriving, doing good. There's just no light on it. Um, yeah, not a whole lot to it. Just an absolute mess because I spilled water all over. Axolotl tank, you guys already know. You already know. I threw a whole bunch of floating plants in here too because this tank here, I mean, had billion. Like this whole, this whole side was absolutely just covered. So what I did, I just took it out. I put a whole bunch in the monster pond and then just kind of sprinkled it all throughout the gallery, if you will. So yeah, this has just got a whole lot of protein scum on top, which I'm trying, I've been trying to net out. Our spotted lungfish, I think his head is buried. Yeah, his head is literally buried in the sand there. I don't know why he does that. I don't know if that's a uh, trait of theirs or what, but at some point, I might be putting him in with the monsters too because nobody will bother him in there and he won't bother anybody because he's chill. I wish I could put him with Rod, but Rod is not very chill. I think you guys have all seen that. Our guppy tank, our midnight guppy tank with some cobras. I have two nice males and then that nice male there. And now we have our Julie Corys, always doing good. Haven't seen any eggs with them yet. I don't know if we got lucky enough to get a male and female pair. But I don't know, because we have those there. One, two, three. We have three of them. Two of these guys. They look, they're like different patterns. Let's see if I get it to focus. Different pattern. Like that one's kind of like orangish tint. And this one's just got it. It's just a different pattern. I don't know. And then, yeah, our shrimp, cherry shrimp have just exploded in here. I mean, there are so many in here. Hopefully they keep breeding because I like to spread them out in different tanks. But, I mean, there is a lot in here. Now, down in here, our Mickey Mouse platies, they've had some babies. They have had some babies. Not a lot. There's a baby coming out of the woodworks there. Nice, good looking baby. And then this baby here, see how the top of the fin is like oranges? Their top fin is orange and it's kind of spotted. Very interesting. He might get cold because I don't like that he doesn't look like pure. We're gonna see if he turns out any different or not, but that one's a good breeder. That's a good female. There are more in here. But obviously they're hiding once I feed them. It's like they're, they're, those two, these two look good. That one, not so much. And then we have our skunk quarries, of course, doing extremely well, of course. And then our single orange Venezuelan quarry, which the other two died off. I don't know why, but they did. Now on to our angelfish tank. I believe those two paired off. Those two have paired off. And this one got kicked out, unfortunately, because I'm trying to breed for more orange. And as you can see, the guy on the left is way more orange than both of those. But I like the spotting, the black spotting on the guy on the left. That guy on the left with the white, I like his coloring. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I haven't seen any eggs yet. And then we have our other two there should be two or three more. We have our standard angelfish there if she would turn to the side. Yeah, standard silver one there. And then our black marbled one there. And then we have our black Venezuelan quarries in here. I mean, just absolutely fattening up. No quarry eggs either. But that's a male and a female right there chasing. Yeah, that's a male and female chasing in the back there. So hopefully at some point I can catch some eggs and get them out of there. Um, if anything, I can always move them. Like it looked like that guy might be blind in one eye. That's interesting. Yeah, he looks blind in one eye. But yeah, I think the angelfish, if I haven't seen any eggs in here. But yeah, most of my plants got absolutely decimated. I'm assuming by our plecos that are in here. Our gold vampire plecos, he's in the cave right now. Yeah, you can just see his tail barely. We got three of those guys in there. You see the tails in the back too flickering in that cave. 
It's going to be tough to see. You can see his tail just barely. But yeah, it keeps the glare is just horrible on this tank. His tail's flickering back there in that cave there. But yeah, there's three of those. No breeding that I've seen yet, but hey, I got patience. Rod's tank. Rod always hides back in this corner here. What are you doing, Rod? Look at him hanging out in the back. Rod's tank looking clean. We put some Val in here. We also put some, what is this? What are you? I don't remember. But yeah, we're trying to get that to grow in there. See what Rod won't eat. Obviously, our plants at the top looking gorgeous. Don't forget about our old boy here. Look at that glare. What a beautiful glare. Forget about our old boy here. Our vampire, or our albino phantom. Not albino. He's just our phantom red tail. What a beaut. He's putting on some serious size. He's putting on some real nice size. But you can't see him because he hides in the back. Like, why do you do that, buddy? I made a nice cave for you, and you won't use it. Guppy grass, beautiful. Our Rasboras, galaxy. There's a baby in here. You guys see that baby? Did they have babies in here? No way. Nice. How are we getting so lucky? He doesn't look like he's swimming very well, but nice. They must lay eggs too. Right on. So yeah, we'll have some Galaxy Rasboras. I don't know if that's the only one or what, but he's actually a pretty good size. Huh. I didn't expect that. Over here, we just got our baby uh, 24K gold guppies and then our baby guppies from our black diamond or black cobra guppies. And then we have our red, our ruby black shrimp. They look so good. Dang thing will focus. There we go. Look at them. They look so good. They're like black, but in the light, they are like maroon they look so cool there should be about four in here one did pass but i'm hoping we have enough to get a breeder going that's a female i don't know i might be able to look from the side here there's still our female there just not quite i don't really see any other ones they kind of blend in with the wood though so Oh, there's one on top. Oh, here we go. There's one on top of the filter. There's one up top there. So, yeah, I'm hoping we have a breeder breeding something there. I'm really hoping because I want those to explode. And now our stock tank. Of course, we have millions of mosquito fish in here. Not a big deal. And then what I noticed a couple days ago was our sword tails... That little lady right there and that little man right there finally laid some babies. Not laid babies, laid, yeah, pooped out some babies. Like this female right here is huge. She's a big mama. So she's about to drop some for me. There's the male. But yeah, there are some babies in here. I don't think I'll be able to find them right now. There's another male down there. Yeah, I won't be able to find them, obviously. If I sat here and just watched for them, I could find them. And then we actually did move our Congo Tetras in here as well. Because I plan on breeding a whole bunch of guppies on the tank inside. So we did bring those guys in here as well. This is kind of just a community tank anyway. Sword tails, mosquito fish, all sorts. There's plecos in here. There's a pleco in that cave there. But yeah, this tank obviously does extremely well. Everything's doing good in here. Then we got our gold guppies. Uh, man, they are always looking good. More babies, like usual, in the back. These guys don't quit. I highly recommend this breed. They are so prolific breeders. Like, look at that male's already trying to get some crazy guy. But yeah, this tank's looking good. Having a little spout of hair algae on that moss been trying to pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. I think at some point we're just going to have to get some flag tails. 
the small flag tails, I think, that eat that. Or just get a couple little small flying foxes. I can't remember what their actual names are. I think it starts with an O. Yeah, I can't remember. Then our piranhas, doing good. Doing good as ever. I did take a light off this tank because the brown algae was, I mean, you can see it all over the gravel. It's just taking over the tank. So we're just running one light. It's not really enough light as I'd like to use, but I kind of just, it kind of just is what it is with this brown algae. I kind of just have to fight the brown algae until it all dies off. Last but not least, thousand gallon pond. Everybody's doing absolutely fantastic in here with our sunken wood. It is a little tannin, as you can see. You can see the bottom is a little tannin. In the side, you can kind of see. Obviously, from the wood that we added. Alligator gar. Our big boy right down in there. He's hiding down in there. Red tail. Where's our flower horn? Flower horn. Where is our clown? There's a clown knife right there. There's an albino one right there. And I'm sure the uh, other one ain't far behind. Yeah, they hide up in those rocks really well. There's two Cynodonis in here as well. There's one down in that hole. I don't know where the other girl is. But yeah, everybody's doing good in here. I like how it turned out. Beautiful. We put a whole bunch of uh, frog bit in here. See it all floating around. I don't know if it'll grow very well because there's not a whole lot of light. There you go. It's not a whole lot of light. But um, that filter's keeping up extremely good. We have our plants growing in it. They're doing good. Yeah. Going to be working on our deck this weekend. Over top that pond. It's going to be lit. But yeah, that's kind of uh, what we got going on in the fish room right now. So comment, what else should we get for the monster pond? I do plan on get growing out a tiger shovel nose and... And albino arowana, so watch out for that video. What up, Rod? Rod decided to come out. Look at him. What up, buddy? Look at your belly, dude. It's still full from last night feeding you all them snails. But yeah, that's the whole tank. That's the whole fish room. So yeah, if you like the video, like and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.